Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to episode 22 of The Gilded City 2, The Lost Kingdom. Uh, we're back again. Let us know that you're enjoying this uh, or that you're there, that you exist. <laughs> Um, or that you're not enjoying it. Or let that us you're know not that too. Enjoying it. You could let us know any of those things. Um, All engagement is good. Uh, <laughs> by liking, uh, commenting, uh, subscribing uh, here on the YouTube channel, uh, or if you're listening here to the podcast, hey, follow the podcast, uh, leave us a rating, leave us a review, etc. Um, follow us on social media at Rollers Guild DND on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, and without further ado, well, let's go ahead and dive on in to tonight's episode. Content warning. Ravenloft is a setting, can feature disturbing themes and ideas, and while it is never going to be our intention to upset anyone, it is worth noting. Specific tags can be found in the description of this episode. Last time, uh, the party, on the trail of the detectives Alanic Ray and Arthur Sedgwick, spent time in the town of Victor. At the end of the seasonal festival, the Tithe, the residents of the town tried to sacrifice Bowman as mother's favorite to uh, their god, uh, Mother Lorinda. Lorinda uh, uh, sent a monstrous ghost named Lursha to attack them and eat Bowman. Uh, however, the party uh, managed to defeat Lursha as well as several high-ranking members of Mother Lorinda's sort of religious order. Mother Lorinda herself disappeared partway through the fight. Um, but after managing to win the fight, the party was forced to flee into the woods as the entire village turned on them and chased them to the tree line. That night, they saw several strange things in the forest, hinting at the dangers within. Upon awaking in the morning, Hayes immediately picked up on the trail of Alan Gray and Arthur Sedgwick, and the party has set off after Hayes with a very strong natural 20 on that perception check. So, that is where we left off. You are... Looking around, it's presumably morning, uh, though it is very difficult to tell here in the Bent Witch Woods, um, as the trees are so thick uh, that no light manages to filter through from the, from the uh, sky above. Uh, the wind sort of rustles through the trees, making it sound like they're whispering to each other, and the hollows in the trees seem to watch you. Um, and Hayes is just following along his little trail. What I need from you, uh, Bowman, is I would like you to roll me 2d6. Oh. How many dragons attack us? Do you want the total or individual numbers? Total. Two. Two? Two. You got two ones? Two ones. The, the they number got of hours it. is Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. All right. Um, 
Great. Two. Uh, you begin following Hayes uh, through the woods. Um, could I get a volunteer to roll a d20 for me? I have one in my hand. Go for it. I <laughs> got a seven. Okay. Golden. You are doing a, great. We're doing it. You have a total of nine right now. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah, at, the, are... at the end, if we cross a certain threshold, do we win the game? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's absolutely how it works. But we can't go over. It is. It's like 21. Yeah. yeah. You're making your way um, through the sort of uh, darkened forest around you. Um, trees are off, the trees are off putting. At one point, you see a, uh, an elk between some of the, uh, some of the boughs of the trees. Um, and as you're watching, it sort of looks at you and then it turns and it starts to prance away when it spots you. Um, but it only makes it a few yards before suddenly out of the underbrush. Uh, a swarm of living mushrooms overtake the elk and pull it down to the ground. And with a last cry, uh, the elk is silenced. Oh. Well, let's you... not go that way. Yeah, let's um stay away. Watch, watch where you step. You keep moving uh, through the woods. Um, can I get somebody else to roll a d20 for me? I'll do it. Go for it. 13. 13. Oh, we passed 21. No, oh, sorry. Damn it. <laughs> do we no, start no, we're over? Actually, oh, no, 13. Never mind. Um, as you're sort of going through... um. The forest. Just a little weird. Okay. Um. A uh, Janara, you're the first person. Um. To as you're walking through, quickly spot a group of four. Um. Elves. Uh. They've got. Uh, you know, very long ears, uh, indicating they are more fey than mortal. Um, and they seem to be out on a hunt. They don't seem to have spotted you as of yet. What would you like to do? I am going to use, I think it's two key points to cast Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Nice. Um, so are you advising everybody to, uh, try to make a stealth check? Yeah. Great. Pa pass with the trace just gives us a plus 10 to his stealth, correct? Yes. yes. Correct. Yes. Is it two key points? Yes. So are we all making? Yes, everybody's making a self check. I rolled like shit. Bowman got a thirty-three. Uh, Alina got a thirty-one. Thirty-eight. Twenty-six. Thirty-three. Fourteen. There she plus is. <laughs> Me? That's with, with the plus, plus 10. ten. Oh, twenty-four. Okay. I was going to say, wow, you rolled real bad. <laughs> I didn't even know you could get a four. Um, you all quickly uh, duck into some underbrush as this hunting party of uh, elves sort of pass by. Um, they, as I said, all have very long uh, ears. Um, they all seem to have sort of uh, a greenish tint to their skin and their hair, um, and even their uh, armor is is has a greenish tint to it. Uh, but you do see one of them 
the ends of their uh, green hair are starting to turn um, golden. Uh, they speak to each other in a language I don't think any of you understand. Um, unless anybody speaks Sylvan. So they speak to each other in a language none of you understand. Uh, they say a few words to each other and they continue traipsing through the, through the trees. I mean, they didn't look too mean. I would say looks odd, deceiving. Especially when it comes to Faye. We also just saw yeah. mushrooms eat the entire deer. I think we're kind of on our own. I'm going to just try and keep up. It's minor illusion, so I'm going to have to keep doing this. I'm going to just like turn my hair greenish, goldish. Okay. Just kind of mimic them as best I can. Um, yeah, so you guys uh, keep making your way through the woods. You're, based on um, the way Hayes is acting, uh, uh, Bowman, you think you're starting to get close. And I would like everybody to make a perception check for me. Twenty. Oh. Twenty-three. Okay. Twenty-five. Twenty-one. What'd you get? Seventeen. Seventeen? Fifteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, everybody got twenty and up. Um, I'll say, here's faintly in the distance something that sounds like a large, like an extremely large uh, creature stomping through the forest. Um, Bowman, uh, you notice that Hayes is whine seems to be whining a little bit. Mm. Um, but based on the scent, the direction leads directly towards whatever that thing that's stomping through the woods is. Hmm. Sure. Do you think that's what they're hunting? Possibly. Um, I wouldn't necessarily want to run into them, but... Maybe it's just like a, like a really big like squirrel or something. That's terrifying. Well, I mean, things could be worse than a squirrel, is what I'm saying. But a giant squirrel? Would you I don't rather know. fight a ten-foot rat? One ten foot rat or a million little mushrooms? That's Can we a, go around? Probably. It sound from what Hayes is communicating, it sounds like it's coming from that. Well, I mean, we're pretty stealthy, right? So we just mm -hmm. keep a sharp eye, move slowly. Yeah. And if things seem weird, we start backing up. Okay. Janara, you're the first to notice the underbrush around you seems to be rustling oddly. And as you look more closely, you see that running between them are swarms of forest mice, but their fur is patchy and they've got weird growths and warts on them. And they seem to be beelining right for your group. I mean, it, there can only be like good rodents here, right? Squirrels. Um, <laughs> probably. What knowledge not? is that based off of? Like most forests are really nice. You'd know this if you'd gone camping with me. I actually did go camping this summer, oh, shit, not right. with you. What about this forest makes you feel like it's normal? I don't... I would say with all this talking going on, the mice have <laughs> arrived. Um, and I do need everybody to roll initiative for me as uh -huh. these swarms of diseased mice 
The mice have arrived. Diseased. Diseased? Diseased. Are we about to get the black leg? Hey, that's offensive. I'm sorry. I literally do not want to get scarlet fever. Nyx, what'd you get? 10. Artemis. 21. Janara. 10. Bowman. 10. Oh my Whoa. God. And Penny. 13. And Alina. 8. Great. Good work, everyone. <laughs> We're all getting scarlet fever. Nice. Really not expecting diseased forest mice. No. Uh, so Artemis is up first, followed by a bunch of uh, uh, we'll, we'll for the purposes, a bunch of mice. Uh, for the purposes of this, we'll say we, <laughs> this gets divided up into like six mega swarms. Uh, oh like a mega swarm. Um uh, mega swarms. As opposed to That's so many mice. Uh <laughs> so <laughs> Artemis is followed by two mega swarms of mice. Uh, as, forgive me, three mega swarms of mice. <laughs> then okay. Penny, then Bowman, then Janara, then Nix, then another mega swarm of mice, then Alina. Then the remaining two mega swarms of mice. Oh my god! Okay, so if this like these, if this swarm has been divided into mega swarms, what do you call the whole swarm? Oh gosh, Florida. A oh. fuck ton. <laughs> it's called a fuck ton of mice. Okay. How oh. many? Okay. Ooh, ooh! Don't Google mega swarm of mice. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Well, now I have to. Uh, no, you don't. I don't Do wanna... not share Mega it in the chat or I will swarm scream. Swarm of mice. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it my turn? Is it like that scene uh, from yeah. Ratatouille? Yeah, so first up is Artemis. Yeah, <laughs> I prefer the scene from Ratatouille. So they're all like that's, nice mice, right? That's what I'm going to picture, is the scene yeah. from Ratatouille. <laughs> Um, well, fucking hell. Okay, are are a bunch of are the swarms all clumped together, or are they do they have us surrounded? They they are surrounding you on all sides. All right, is there and a way to get three for, of the clumps for for the purposes of tracking this? Because this is a lot of mice. <laughs> Each. Each kind of mega swarm we're gonna treat as a huge sized creature. Ooh. Huge. My God. Oh. So that's so many mice. I do not want to be on the forest floor. Um Okay. Holy crap. This is why going first is awful. Um, I got all my spell slots. I am going to cast. No, um, I'm gonna synaptic static. Can I get two of them with one clump? It's a 20 foot sphere. Is that doable? Without I think you can position it in such a way to get two. Of these mega swarms. Get two of the swarms? Yeah. I would like to do that. Draw the sword and smash it into the ground. Great. Little blue lightning. Great. Uh, what's the save on that? Oh, no. Well, I said I did it. Um, an intelligence saving throw. Any creature with an intelligence of two or lower is... Oh, great. Infected. I don't have to roll one. Um... So, I try that. It doesn't work. Great. Any bonus actions for you? Sure. Definitely. Um, cool, 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 cool. Oh, and I cast a spell. Um, I'm going to Bardic Inspiration. Nope. We're just gonna, we're just gonna wait. Okay. Can I use some movement to try and get up a tree a little bit. Sure. Make an athletics check for me. Um, Athletics, athletics. 
16. 16. Aren't the trees you, alive? You can climb up, up, up the up <laughs> one tree uh, a little bit. We'll say with some of the, with your movement, plus climbing up the tree, we'll say that you move at half speed up the tree, but you can make it, I don't know, five, 10 feet up the tree. That's five or 10 feet further from my swords. Sounds great. Great. Speaking of my swords, it is time for the mice hordes to go. Mm. Now, of course, mice are uh, relatively good climbers, uh, all things considered. Uh, so that the one, the first clump is going to start climbing up the tree uh, to attack you, Artemis. Oh my God, burn uh, us, burn us both, burn us, burn it all. Artemis does a. Let's see. Uh, does a 27 hit? Uh, I can't, <laughs> can't fuck with that. Y- y- I'll allow it. Yes, that does hit. All right, great. We're going to be killed by mice. What a way to go, though. No, it's I mean, not. I would accept it's it. not. <laughs> we killed a dragon killed by mice. <laughs> It's gonna be rough, isn't it? You're gonna poison me or some shit. No, the dice rolling on my screen is uh, lagging, just to give you an idea. Mm. That's a lot of dice on this. That's so mean, Ben. Okay. These mice brought to you by no one. Sponsorship opportunities available. (laughs) (laughs) Brought to you by us. Hi, sponsors. Um. So, uh, we are going to say that first I need you to make me, we're going to call this a con save. Oh. Mm. Uh, 19. 19. 19 is a success. So you will take, um, half damage, uh, which is 26. Um. (laughs) Half is 26? Yes. As this <laughs> mass of mice starts absolutely digging into your flesh and <gasps> devouring the exposed a bit of skin. Uh, second swarm of mice, I think, is going to go after, let's say, Bowman. Oh, great. Um, awesome. Love that. Yeah. Bowman, that's a 26 as well. 27, sorry. Excuse mm. me. Weirdly enough, 26 would have hit. 27 doesn't, though. All right. 27. They swarm over you. Uh, I need a con save. Keep on looking at the wrong place. Uh, That is a 24. That's a success. Oh my god. Computer doesn't like rolling this many dice. Oh, then good. you should probably stop. Yeah. You should, yeah, kill the mice. Set some mouse traps. Okay. So, with a success, that brings you to just, you know, just 33 points of damage. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, yes. I was going to say, how big of these were they? How big, just so I can paint the picture in my head, how big was the swarm? Oh, like a huge, I mean, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a huge sexy. size creature is what it huh? means. Each swarm is huge. Right. Yeah, so and six, there are six. Six mega swarms. Uh, so there are huge, but like for D anD D purposes, yes, for D anD D purposes, creature. each mega swarm is considered a huge creature. This is a sixteen foot tall mound of mice that's just consumed Bowman. That's yeah. terrifying. Um, yep. Speaking of mounds of mice, um, we got our third mega swarm, and I I don't know who we're gonna go after. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna roll a D four. Fine. As they are surrounding you on all sides. One, two, three. Penny! Uh, you escaped without a, uh, without a scratch the last fight. Um, uh, 
that's going to be a 29 to hit. Me? Yes. Yeah, that hits. Right. I'm rolling pretty good tonight. Right. Don't I have to roll constitution saving throw? Yes, please do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I should have inspired someone. Oh wait, can I do that? 19. 19 is a success. Uh, you take 24 points of damage. Fuck me. As these yeah. mice swarm over you. Um, and with that, it is your turn. I would love for you to go ahead and tell me what you're going to do. Um, first of all, I just want everyone to know that I now have 69 hit points. Nice. I just thought that was, nice. we could all say nice. Okay. Happy nice. Pride. Um, <laughs> so if I hit them with lightning launcher, because we're at where I'm not hitting each mouse individually... Could I hit them with lightning launcher and it affect the swarm? Is yeah, so it would it would do okay. damage to the swarm. What I will say is general swarm rules is that like no bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage are considered resisted under general swarm rules because like it's hard to stab a swarm. Mm -hmm. It's hard to shoot a swarm, but you certainly can. Um, you can also do a spell. Yeah. Uh, you also have the one daily use of light like, of lightning bolt from um, yes, lightning launcher. So if it's five feet wide, would that still get that would still count as hitting the whole swarm? And okay. that's not resist. That lightning is not resisted. Lightning damage is not resisted actually. So your lightning launcher, I think, would be fine. Okay, can I try to line up lightning bolt that it doesn't hit my friends? It's a hundred yeah. feet long and five feet wide. Yeah. Yeah, you can line it up to not hit your friends. Okay. Um, How many swarms can I get? Well, I would say because you're currently in the midst of one of the swarms, you'll automatically hit that swarm. I would say make a, we'll call this uh, either an intelligence check, a, a flat intelligence check, or a perception check. Um, the flat intelligence is you calculating the sort of angle and perception is sort of spatial awareness to kind of figure out where you are in the midst of all this it's kind of hard to see given all right we're gonna do perception right um fifteen fifteen um okay i also you can get two swarms okay uh all right, let's see. Lightning bolt. is. Do I have to roll for this? Or is it just a spell? So it's a save. It's a dex save. Okay, yeah. Um. So I, what's, the, what's your dex save number? What's your uh, save number? DC? That's spell. an excellent question. My spell saving spell DC. Save. Okay. Mm. 14. 14. Um, okay. Uh, then both fail. Um, both of, like, they fail? Yeah, the both, both of the swarms fail. Okay, so they're going to take 8d6 lightning damage. Yep. Oh my god. Three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Some fell off the thing. All right. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Quick. I rolled three sixes. Nice. Um come on, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, that kills them. Come on. Show us they can be killed. Uh does not kill them. 
Um, but you definitely do some damage here. Um, you see, like, dead mice fly away from the end of your gun as you uh, fire off the lightning bolt from it. Um, and you see uh, the electricity electrocutes, like, a bunch of mice. They all die, but these mice are continuing to swarm your group. Um, you do see a small handful are running away now, though. So you do think that you may not have to kill all the mice. You may just have to kill enough of them to scare the entire swarm away. So. Okay. With that being said, Bowman, it is your turn. Scary. <clears throat> oh, right. Be scary. <laughs> Can I do an intimidation check on these disease-ridden mice? I'm, what are you doing to intimidate? I'm, I'm joking. I'm just joking. Um, eat a moth. Say this will be yeah, just start eating them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to find the right type of smite that I want to use. Too many options. Okay, well, I can't find it. I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm going to use bonus action uh, Thunderous Smite. Okay. Um, it's going to give me an extra D6, 2D6. Great. And then I'm just going to uh, take my crowbar and just start wailing at the ones oh, surrounding um, me. Yep. Go for it. Bowman invents croquet. <laughs> With mice. Uh, that was dirty 20 to hit. Okay, yep. That'll hit. Gonna roll uh, give me the bludgeoning separately. Yeah. Okay, so that is 17 from the crowbar, so that's bludgeoning damage. Okay. Then I need something to organize all my dice by type of dice. Then we're going to do Improve Divine Smite. That's five. Thunderous Smite. That's six. Let me just make sure Thunderous Smite doesn't have any other effects. Uh, can, it make, can it make a... Uh, constitution, no, not a strength saving throw to not be pushed back 10 feet from me. That's a 14. All right, so that's a fail. So it's pushed okay. back 10 feet from me. So with, I'll say with that, with the Thunder Smite, you send like in sort of a shock wave out from you, a bunch of mice go flying with the Thunder Smite, freeing your upper body from the, uh, the horde. Okay. Um, God. How's this horde looking before I do my second attack? Sea of mice. I mean, it's a sea of mice, as uh, Matt just said. So, okay, hard to gauge. Um, but how are they feeling? What's what's their what's their vibe? Their vibe is uh, murderous. <laughs> oh, um, oh, so they're not friendly. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna do a second attack crowbar. Great. Uh, 24 to hit. That hits. That's an additional 12 uh, from the crowbar, so bludgeoning. And then 8 from improved uh, Divine Smite. Great. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do any Divine Smite on top of that. Great. Uh, Hayes is still here, right? Hayes is still here. For I'm him. just gonna have him bite him. Go for it. Pay him Zach Bull. <laughs> Hayes got a nat 20. Nice. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Going after the swarm that's swarming you. Okay. So it's automatically a, a 7 damage. Okay. Then I roll another d6. 
Can Hayes can't do Divine Smite, correct? Nope. Okay, that's additional three. So ten bite. Great. Uh they also must succeed a DC uh strength so DC eleven strength saving throw or be knocked prone. But I don't know how yeah. this would work with mice. Um uh they are immune to the prone condition. So <laughs> they're already on the ground. Uh yeah. Uh Hayes does devour several of these mice, but they continue hey. swarming around you. Uh, hey, um, get get that out of your mouth. That you don't know where that's been. They look diseased. Uh Nix, it's your turn. Okie doke. Uh I'm going to I've decided that I can my mm. little Eldridge cannon is like a wind up toy. Like okay. that's just how I'm gonna be able to activate it in within six seconds as I I wind it up. Um uh, and I'm gonna put it on the ground in front of me and activate the, the flamethrower. Right. So uh, they need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, awesome. Charbroiled mice. Uh, that is a five. That does not succeed. We got eight points of fire damage, and they're all on fire. Great. So um, now we're just surrounded in flaming mice. No, flaming I just mice. in one direction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's now one of the swarm's turns. Um... This swarm, I think, is going to go after Hayes, the dog that just come on a bunch of their friends. Literally, our way through these woods, and that's a natural twenty. So, no! um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> Hayes is been has been vaporized. Uh, <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to emotionally recover from this. Uh. Elena, it's your turn. Yeah, Holy okay. Shit. Oh, shit, um, I skipped Janara. I'm so sorry. Janara, <laughs> it's your turn. Um, Save Hayes. You have an opportunity. Wait, did I go before Hayes? You would technically have gone before Hayes, but you don't have the knowledge that they're going to go after Hayes, and also there's two men yeah. around you. Okay. Um. Can <laughs> I shadow step... Can I shadow step in general? Are there any dark areas? It's very dark in these woods. It's so. very dark in the woods. Great. Can I shadow step somewhere where I can be within a 30-foot code and hit as many of them as possible? Sure. You can, like, shadow step outside of the radius of this swarm, like, trying to devour your group. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that. Do I have a lot of my friends in the way? I mean, you will. Uh, you can try to angle it, but you, you're gonna be you're gonna be limited. So here here is the options that I'll give you. Okay. You can either hit two swarms with whatever area of effect you're trying to do, or yeah. you can hit four swarms and two of your friends. Yes. Which friends? Depends on where you're angling. Because I want to cast fear. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. What's so the my friends that on? I'm hitting will probably also have to do a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. What's the area of effect on on uh, fear? It's thirty feet. Thirty feet in like just a radius. In a cone. like around you. Or is it like a cone? Like, what does it say for? I think it's a cone. I think it's the cone symbol. I can't make it bigger. Uh, there's a cone. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's 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 your choice. Uh, I think you could angle it to get. And pretty much any of your two friends, you can pick which two friends get caught by it if you want to go for four. Um, I, well, 
Okay, I'm probably going to have to get Bowman. What? Because you're surrounded by the mice. What, from fear? Yeah. I'm, I can't be frightened. Great, I'm going to make sure Bowman's one of my two friends <laughs> then. Anyone else not able to be frightened? Is it um, a charm effect? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Just... I'm already scared shitless, so go for it if it helps. Great. I'll do Artemis because he doesn't know what I'm about to do, but he volunteered. Great. <laughs> awesome. What's the save on that? It is a wisdom 14 saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Rolled a two. I fail. Two failures, two successes. All right. The ones who failed uh, have to use their action to dash away. Yep. Um, yes. Great. Uh, does that mean Artie has to dash away from me, too? Ar Artemis has to do his best to get away from you, yes. So, Artemis, as you are climbing a tree, trying to escape these mice that are devouring you, you look back. You see Janara, and Janara, could you describe to me, like, how, what sort of fearful image are you putting out there to try to frighten away these mice? So I'm trying to frighten the mice, not Artie. So I think it's just going to be, like, knowing that some of these trees are alive just like a big like gnarly looking tree with like a gross like bark mouth if that makes sense and like pointed things at the end of the branches okay great Artemis, you look back, you see Janara, and before your eyes, she transforms into a horrifying tree monster that wants to devour you. Uh, oh, but I'm climbing a tree. <laughs> That's right. Now it's Alina's turn. I apologize. That's okay. Um, Two swarms ha are, have fled. Okay. Is there any... Okay, where am I in relation to these swarms? Oh, you are literally surrounded. There's one swarm coming to you specifically. So Okay. Um Is there a space that is open that I can see that is 30 feet on the other side of the swarm? Yeah. You can okay. you you can see Actually, you don't know if the ground is free there, but there's a low-hanging branch uh, about 30 feet away that you could warp to uh, on the other side of where the swarm is heading. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to do my special teleport. Great. And then I'm going... Wait, if I do that, I can also cast a spell, right? Because that's like a... It's, I, not a, I it's not a spell. It's not a spell. It's a feature, not a spell. Yeah. So I believe you can, yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to cast on that swarm that was coming at me uh, Moonbeam. Great. Uh, which is a constitution saving throw, and it's a five foot radius. Well, I rolled a natural one, so... Okay. The mice... So that would be 12 radiant damage. Great. Um, yeah, you blast uh, some of these mice with this uh, moonbeam. As... And then that's a concentration, so... Yeah. So that, it's, it's a five-foot radius cylinder that's going straight up yeah. through the top of the trees. Um... And then when it takes its turn, when it starts a turn in there, uh, it also has to make a con saving throw. Yep. Okay. Speaking of, they got to make a con saving throw. Uh, that's 11. That fails. Um, great. Go and roll damage again. Wait, did I do that right? 
Yep. 15. 15. Radiant again. Okay. Right. And then this swarm is going to, like, it's, they're mice. They're not that intelligent. They don't know that you're the one summoning these beams of light at them. Uh, but they do see food in front of them. So they're going to keep swarming forward. Uh, you are no longer in their direct line, but Nyx is. Great. Um, so. Sorry. Uh, Nyx, that is a 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Great. Make a con save while I'm uh, pulling these dice here. She's barely tall enough to, like, stick out of the mice swarm. Got a 12. I'm so sorry, Nyx. Uh, that is a failure. Um, as you are buried under this swarm of mice, uh, and you are gonna take, ooh, you're gonna take a total of 61 damage as these mice start Wait. to get Oh, out. God. Wait. Oh, my Wait. God. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I didn't get the picture. Kelly, you were frozen in a I very know. funny position. <laughs> um, and then, oh, that swarm has already fled, so that brings us back to the top to Artemis. Good news, the swarm of mice that was trying to devour you has fled, um, because of Ooh. fear produced by Janara's spell. Bad news, you are also afraid. Okay. And you just use your turn getting as far away from Janara. I can as use as my act. I have to use my action to dash. Or I, yes. I just, if I can do something more, what, here's a plan I have. Let me know if I can do it. Okay. If Nyx is not closer to the Devouring Treat Monster, okay. I would like to. What's it called when you jump out of into the hay bales from Assassin's Creed? Whatever. Oh, okay. I would like to jump from the tree. Uh huh. To Nyx in the mice. Okay. Grab Nyx and cast Dimension Door for five hundred feet straight into the air. Okay. Can I do that? Uh, I would like you to roll for me a. Let's call it, uh, okay, first, I guess we're going to do, we're going to see if you have the nerve to pull off such a risky stunt while you're frightened. So yeah. make a, we'll say wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. That's one of my worst. Let's see. That is 22. I will say then, yes, you may do that. Excellent. As I'm, I've only got 15 feet up, but as I'm, like, plummeting towards Nyx, I'm just gonna scream, Nyx! Do you accept my help? Say it now! Yeah! There's the like minute I of, find like, her, and, uh -huh. and then I'll click my heels, and we'll disappear together. Okay. 500 feet straight up into the air. Straight up into the air. Okay. Great. Um, let me check something. Are you free falling then? Yes. Um, However, I have feather fall. So the minute we appear up above, I'd like to reaction feather fall us. You so we're not plummeting back down. 500 feet up in the air. And you are temporary, temporarily blinded by sunlight as ah, you emerged ah. above the treetops. Um, I've died. You start falling. Uh, Featherfall's a reaction spell. Yes. So you were able to cast Featherfall, and you see Cypress sort of has been following your progress from above the treetops um, and can pick you up and, like, grab you guys. Yes, please, Cypress. Uh, Nyx I don't know birds. This will be great. Nyx feels about getting picked up by Cypress, but... This is a terrible morning! 
<laughs> um okay. So that swarm is gone. Okay. Um so now we get to this swarm uh that I believe is still surrounding Bowman. Um so it's gonna go ahead and attack you, Bowman. Great. Okay. Love uh, 25 to hit. Mm. Yep. Great. Um this swarm has taken enough damage that I am rolling fewer dice. I'm still rolling a lot of dice, but I'm rolling fewer dice. <laughs> um, please make a constitution saving throw for me. That uh, was a nat 20 plus 7. So 27. Yeah, that's that's a success. Yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure. Did or no? So you will take 20 damage. Just 20. That's nothing. It's basically nothing. Um, uh, and now I believe it's the swarm that is on Penny's turn. This swarm has also been damaged enough to reduce the um, amount of dice out roll, but let's see if it hits. No. Don't disintegrate our Penny. Again. During Pride Month? How I, dare I you? I did roll a natural 20. Can you use luck? You can use luck. I'll re-roll. Thanks, Janara. Thanks, Mom. Okay, that's so so normal, your next character that's, should be a rat, That's though. a normal 26 now. <laughs> I'll <laughs> take it, though. Um, that 20 could have killed you. <laughs> Uh, make a con save for me. 18. Okay, that's a success. Jesus. I got beef with mice now. <laughs> uh, 25. Jesus. How much would that have probably full would have killed been? you? Oh, it would have been so bad. It would have been that so bad. That would have killed you. That like, absolutely would have killed her. Because max plus 25 is what that would be, right? Uh, Well, if she succeeded on the saving throw. If she succeeded. It would have been max plus If she 25. succeeded? Yeah. Um. Hey, speaking of, Penny, it's your turn. God. There, um, you're, the swarm is noticeably lessened now. Um. You guys think that if you can get rid of a decent number of the remaining mice, the rest will flee. Um, okay. Is that, is a swarm like 15, a 15 foot cube or more? It's basically, yeah, 15. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there any way I can get two swarms in one without hitting my friends with a 15 foot cube? Um, I would say theoretically, yes, but you are also, like, completely surrounded by a swarm and your visibility is shot. Okay. Then I'm going to say rip to my friends. We'll make it through this together. Um, so basically what I'm saying is you can get the swarm you are currently being consumed by. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but because of your vision, you can't really place a cube anywhere in particular. You can just do it Fine. right in front of you. All right. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave at second level. Great. And they have to make a con save and beat a 14. Uh, that's a failure. Um, okay. And I'm going to just roll a luck check to see if any of your friends are in the way of your Thunder Wave. Uh, they are not. Thanks. I know you said they are, and I was like, great. They are I mean. not. All right. 15. Okay. You 
blast away a bunch more of these mice from you that go flying. Um, the swarm is definitely lessening now um, between the mice that fled from fear and the damage y'all have done. Um, but they're still coming for now. Can I action surge? If you would like to. After a spell? Yeah. Okay. Can I use lightning launcher and just shoot randomly at the swarm? Sure. Okay. Um... Yikes. That was shit. All right. 17 and 15. Uh, both hit. Okay, well. Uh, you. I think you get three attacks. I want to see if I can get the swarm, and then otherwise I'll hit another one. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, that is 18 on the first hit. And 11 on the second hit. Still there? Uh, they are still there. Oh my god! All right, 25. That hits. Sixteen damage. Uh the rats the mice are still swarming. Are you fucking Omen, it is now your turn. So many mice. Mm -hmm. Let me just check something real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. How small are these mice individually? Like nice size, like they're, they're not mice like size individually. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying Bowman could probably like hold a couple in their his hand. Like one, two, three, yeah. Like in one hand. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. cool. 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 Um what are we trying. Bowman has a swarm on him still. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, correct. Ah, uh, this is dumb. This is really dumb, but I gotta it. figure it out. Pitch it to me. I want to grab like three of them. Okay. Okay. In one hand. Okay. And just do a lay on hands to if they are diseased, it will cure their disease. Okay. Great. So like if it's like, you know, rabies. Yeah. So we don't, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. What are you hoping, uh, what are you hoping to achieve by doing this? I'll have three mice friends that replace my dead dog. That's all you're trying to do is get three mice friends. I'm just messing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 no. If that's what you want to do, you're more than welcome. To no, do no, 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 no. There's uh, some. There's still uh, a if lot of mice. To there's... accomplish something else, you could try to sell me on why this would work. I'm. Uh, what? Okay. What? What? The real thought process is is that they're a bit of a hive mind, and if mm. one or two or three start, sure, not freaking out, maybe they're all calm down. I, I would, I, here's what I will say. You can certainly attempt that if you so desire. I would ask you to make an animal handling check as part of doing this. Right. It, so. All right. Animal hand. Animal handling. Not intimidation. No. Not something you are at plus nine to. Healing, you are literally healing a handful of mice like a literal fistful of mice to try and spread this like positive energy throughout the entire swarm. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. All right. Be a great time for a patented uh, Sam natural twenty. <laughs> no, uh, I did get a 19 on the die, if that helps. It was a 22. 22. All right, I'm going to check something now. Three mice friends. The ones I have in my hand, I will immediately stick into my pocket where I have my heart yeah. attack. Okay. So. With the 22, enough of the swarm has been killed off at this point. You just grabbed a handful and with a flash of light, cured them of their disease. I will say 
that that is enough to get the other mice to be chill out a little like i don't know they're a little hesitant now they start like backing away into the underbrush and eventually scamper off okay combat encounter over all right Good job. sweet uh, uh, i'm gonna stop casting fear so Artie can come back uh yeah uh, Artemis and Nyx are up in the sky. Um, the rest of you are down on the ground, covered in bites, uh, bleeding, except Alina. Alina's fine. I'm uh, fine, too. And Janara. Janara's also <laughs> fine. Fuck <laughs> right. you, so, guys. Uh, so it's, so it's, it's Artemis, Nyx, Penny, and oh. Bowman. Anyone yep. need some healing? Uh, no, yeah, I can all and that. Artemis. Um... Nix, welcome to Cyprus. <laughs> okay, I am going to do two things. I am going Nix to... Out. Um, Alina, I know it's not nighttime yet, but can we cast the bubble? Sure. I gotta, I gotta summon Haze again. Um, well, real quick. Make a perception check for me. Okay. Before you do that. There's more shit. Nix and I are just going home. 21. 21. You can still hear the stomping, and you know from your connection with Hayes that whatever that stomping thing is, that's where the detectives are. I literally quit. Uh, I'm not doing this. Uh, just uh, scratch that. I, I'll get Hayes another time. Fine. Um, okay. Um, speaking of scratches, uh, I'm going to cast healing prayer, prayer of healing. Uh, so if anybody else wants to cast a healing spell, that's additional 2d8. While y'all are healing up before chasing after this Am thing, I this freaking bird, uh, not yet, <laughs> gotta figure out how to get below the tree line, above the tree line. Uh, Artemis and Nyx, you are currently being born aloft by Cyprus. Oh, I feel so much better. Hey, hey, oh, right. So, hey, just uh, so look at me. Hey, aren't I? I've got like a bunch of rat bites on me, but I'm still cute. So, you could just look right here. So, Cypress, he's chill. We're just really high up in the sky. I mean, we're just like, remember when we were on the carousel and it went up and down and up and down and all around Cypress? For the love of I God, flying circles. I in rats and now I'm on a bird. <laughs> I'm having a bird bed. <laughs> yeah. We should probably make sure our friends aren't dying though. Are you, are you good? I don't I mean, know. Relatively, yeah. Um, what can I give you? Uh, I pat her on the back. Like, hey, so you don't look good, but like, let's get back down there. Um, yeah, we really need to make sure our friends aren't dying. Hi, um, I mean, I am more than happy to get off this, the, but we're like a thousand feet up. 500 approximately. Okay. Here, Cy Cypress, uh, fly, fly down. Let's get to the tree line. We'll find you a nice sturdy twig to hold on to. <laughs> Cypress um, flies down to the tops of the trees. Um, you can start climbing down if that's what you're trying to do. I don't know. Okay, I I'm gonna go check out. I can do this one more time. So you just stay here, and if we need to get the hell out of here, we will. Um, I'm just gonna make sure everyone's not dead. So you just you hang here. You are so good. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> Thumbs up. And I'm gonna 
jump into the trees and see and <laughs> kind of bonk my way down the branches. There's tools of feathers in my hands and I hate it. Okay. Um uh is Featherfall still active? It lasts for a minute. I can cast it again. Um if I when I see the ground, but Roll like I gotta get down and make sure my friends are being eaten alive. I'd love you to roll a d4 for me. D4. One. Nyx is gonna shortly thereafter follow Artie, but Artie does not know this. Like she's getting the fuck off this bird. We will say that Artemis, you uh you're still just barely within the Feather Falls timeline, so you can just drift down safely to the ground. Nyx, I would love for you to roll me a d4 as well. A what? A d4. Could I say I've communicated with Little Flower and Little Flower is sticking with Nyx on her way down to help her? Sure. Um, Nyx, what did you roll? Four. Four. Uh, Featherfall runs out when you're about halfway down and you just immediately begin plummeting. Uh, I this would- is better than the uh, I would love for you to make a, uh, we'll call it a, probably a dexterity save to grab onto a branch. Uh, you can have the, you can have advantage because little, little flower is with you, giving you the help action. Um, and you have the bardic inspiration. Oh, God. How much is the bardic inspiration? It's a d10. Nineteen. Nineteen. You managed to grab a branch. So here's what happens to the rest of y'all's perspective. You're like checking your wounds and stuff. Artemis suddenly emerges from the branches over your head, drifting down slowly. And then I'd say probably like, uh, I don't know, uh, like five or so feet above the ground, the feather spell, fell, the feather fall spell ends and Artemis just lands like hard, but okay. And then you hear above, ah! <laughs> the branches cracking and breaking and you look up and Nyx is like dangling from a branch up above. I hate this. Uh, can Bowman attempt to catch Nyx? Can I do slow fall on her? I, 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 Pretty sure slow fall is only applies to you because it's your um Bowman. You can position yourself under Nyx to try to catch her. Um, how we all doing? Nyx, do you you can just let go and trust Bowman to catch you, uh, or you can try to climb down the tree. How far from branch to Bowman? Uh, twenty feet. Is there another branch lower down? You can, there is not a branch directly underneath you, but you can like side along the branch you've caught and then climb down the actual trunk with a good enough check. I'm just, I just want to get down to the ground as quickly as possible. <laughs> so you're just going to let go? Yep. Okay. Back to the Great. Mice. Um, so, (laughs) Bowman is going to catch you. Here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to roll falling damage, and then we're going to split it between the two of you. Okay, I rolled a total of nine. So, uh, one of you takes five, one of you takes four, and I'll let you fight amongst yourself. I can take five. No, I'm, like, coming at you. I feel like I feel like your your elbow. Yeah, your I didn't have the done. right. I didn't have the right you yeah. know stance though, yeah. and so I I kind of hurt my back. Right, right. While catching you, so that's why. How about I you that. both take five? Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> if you both want to take five so bad. You can both take five. Jesus. Um, <laughs> Wrong uh, even numbers, Ben. God, you, uh, silly me. Uh, <laughs> You crash into Bowman's arms, but when you stagger a little bit, but uh, yeah, there you go. You've made it safe. Nick's just in tears. I'm going to gather everyone around. Um, could we all 
let's just and then I'm gonna cast mass cure wounds with my I... staff of healing so that everybody gets an additional twenty five hit points back. Awesome. Holy shit. It's useful. I'm sorry it couldn't be more, but um if anyone needs some more help, uh, I can help out. That's too. not divided, right, Alina? Like, if I'm not in there, do people get more? Because I didn't take any damage. No, no, it's okay. it's just twenty five hit points yeah. to just making sure. Yeah, so it's up to six creatures get. Uh, each target regains hit points equal to my roll. Um, I've been reading a healing prayer incorrectly. I just roll for to give people health points. It doesn't add anything to anybody else. So I'm going to do healing prayer as well. Great. Uh, I choose up to six player, six creatures that I can see. I can see everybody, correct? Yeah. Okay. 3D8. Uh, it does take a few minutes to cast this spell, but y'all need a few minutes. <laughs> I'll keep watch. Okay. Make a perception check for me. I will also watch. Uh, make a perception check. 21. Okay. 23. Okay. Um, Everyone gets additional 25 health points back. Hell yeah. Um... Patched up uh, with with some with a couple of spells, um, Artemis and Alina, you two sort of keep watch. Um, nothing has uh, approached y'all during during this uh, bit of this chunk of time, um, but uh, you have been able to listen to the sounds of whatever the stomping thing is, and it sounds like it's starting to get more distant. I think we have to, I think we have to go if we're going to um catch whatever that thing is. Hold on. Using where I know the sound is coming from, I'm gonna communicate with Cypress. Is there anything large sticking out of the trees? <clears throat> yeah, Cypress is able to fly off in the direction the sound is coming from and eventually is able to telepathically report back that from his vantage above the tree line, um, he can just see the tops of trees like rustling and moving, um, as something okay. large seems to be making its way through the forest below. Okay, I'll tell him to just keep a safe distance, but keep an eye on that. And that's where we're going to be heading. Great. Stay nearby that. Great. I communicate whatever's relevant to everyone else. Can I send Little Flower ahead to try to get a view of it? Um, I mean, I don't imagine Little Flower's movement speed is all no, about probably much not. faster. Yeah. Um, um, so we need to um move. We need to get going though. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Nick, you all right? How's everyone feeling? Not a bit psychologically awful physically i feel great i'm okay not the worst not my worst thing that was bad like that was worse than like in the sewers bad. that was horrific i i was thinking the exact opposite to be honest with you. So you thought the sewers were worse i was thinking the sewers were better than that oh yeah i think that's what he was saying okay oh. I don't know. I should be drunk right now. I'm not. <laughs> it's a that's a mistake. My bad. I'll fix that right away. <laughs> yeah, get on that. Um, oh. But everyone has good, like, everyone's bites are okay. Yeah. I think. How do you how do you tell that? Do they burn? Do they itch? I think we're good. Okay. Oh, I have these three mice now, by the way. <laughs> I reached uh, into my pocket, just pull out 
Um, I haven't settled on names yet, but um, I think this is Hubert. No. They're Donald like squirming in your hand. And um, I have to figure out the last one. But yeah. No. So, not, oh. not set in stone. No. Mr. Mullen no has. No. You can't be the old man with mice in his pocket. You can't. Those are filled with disease and bad memories. They don't have disease. I, I don't sure care. It, bring it to a vet and have them tell me that. I do not trust you to tell me that. The vet should probably put them down. I mean, I am a veteran, but... Jesus. Okay, can we go to that stomping, please? Yeah. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> he drapes off through the creepy forest after the stomping sound. As you sort of are pushing through the trees, the sound is getting louder and louder as you approach. It seems to be moving slower than you all are. Um, pushing through the darkness ahead, you the the sound of the trees uh, in the wind, the sort of sound like whispering that you've heard, um, gets louder as you approach whatever the source of this stomping is, and then finally. Between the trees, you see it. The trees themselves seem to part around this misshapen accumulation of thorns and wicker and bones. Moving through the forest on three skeletal legs is a wooden house. <laughs> three stories tall made of, with thorns sticking out of the sides and continuing to roam the forest. A three-legged house? A three-legged house. Is there a door? Uh, make a perception check. I don't like this forest. Uh, with disadvantage, because of how how dark it is here. 22. 22. You are kind of looking around. You do see a door. It's about, um, it's elevated about seven or eight feet up off the ground. Um, but you can approach the door. I'll knock. No, hold on. Uh, as Bowman sort of steps out, approaching the door, um, the sort of, uh, uh, one of the bone legs, like, stops. Um, the two, actually, there's two, two of the legs are on the side of the door, um, and they stop moving as the entire house, like, lurches to a stop, and you see it sort of sway a little bit as it comes to this abrupt, uh, halt. Um, one of the legs splits open and emerging from this bone leg is a smaller bone creature that comes out, uh, but once it stitches itself together, you realize that it is also quite a, a sizable bone creature with long horns or, or tusks or something, it's hard to figure out what this thing is supposed to be. Um, you just know that it's skeletal. Uh, you hear a, a, a dry sort of rasping sound as its mouth opens and it just goes <laughs> and it starts moving aggressively towards you um, and I'm going to have you roll initiative again, and you can load the battle map now. All right. Top of the initiative order is Artemis, then Penny, then Bowman, uh, then Alina, then the skeletal monster, then Nyx, then Janara. So, Artemis, you are up first. Okay. Um... Cypress is on his way, crashing down through the trees. Um, he'll just stay off in the back, and he'll get close to anyone who is looking rough. Right. 
which is what he's going to do. Um, this big old bone monster aggressively at us. And he's this big? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Well, I feel bad because I ran from the last one. Um, I will, at fourth level, do um, Armor of Oikos on okay. myself. I think fourth, yeah, fourth level. Armor of Oikos for 20 additional temporary hit points. Um, and I will draw the sword and rush forward. Oh, I can't control my guy. Um, there. I will rush forward to engage with the thing. And as a bonus action, I will... Of my friends, do I know who's still looking a little rough? Um, I think... Everyone's looking mostly okay. I think Nyx is probably the still the worst looking of the bunch. Sure. Um really and physically. <laughs> right. Can Cody take attack roll? Yeah, I will run back. I'll run forward, give a little wink towards Nyx. Say, you've got this, you've got this, the bird's gone. Just don't look behind you. The rats are gone. You've got this. Um, you feel inspired. And that'll be my thing. Right. Penny, that's you. Um, back to the old lightning launcher, because it's not a swarm of rats, so I can hit it with my gun. Right. Go for it. All right, that is a 21, a non-natural 20, and a 23. All three hit. All righty. We've got 13. That's a D8 in the wrong spot. Um, 15 and 20. Great. You shoot this bone monster three times. You blow huge chunks in its skeletal uh, frame. Um, it's still standing, though. Uh, Bowman, that's you. Um, you know what? I feel like breaking some bones. Go for it. All right, just the crowbar. All right. First stack is going to be a 23 to hit. Uh, that hits. <laughs> you paused Sorry. for a second? No, I was like, I was, oh, no. No, I was doing the wrong thing. Yes, that hits. It's getting stronger. <laughs> All right, so it's... Uh, 16 from the crowbar and then improved divine smite. That's an additional eight. Right. And then second attack. Let's go. That is a another 23 to hit. Yep. And then Ooh, max damage. 17 from the crowbar. And that's an additional 3 for improved, improved Divine Smite. And we're just going to do a 1 level of Divine Smite on top of that. Wait, add an extra d8 because it's undead. <gasps> that takes additional 20 damage from Divine Smite. Uh, really, really good round of attacks. Yeah. Real quick, Alina, what is your AC at? Um, seventeen. Nix, what's your AC? Eighteen. Uh, I'm going to bonus action, uh, shield of faith. Um, so you get a plus two to your uh AC. 
for the next 10 minutes. Which one? Uh, sorry, Alina. Okay. As long as you maintain concentration. So. As long as I maintain concentration. I'm just going to mark your character here. You've got concentration. Don't mind me. Mostly so I can remember to remind you to make concentration checks because I'm bad about doing that. Um, okay. Uh, with that, uh, yeah, you run up, you smack it a couple of really good times. You shatter one of its uh, femurs. Um, it's looking wobbly, but it's still standing. Uh, Elena, that's your turn. Okay. Um... This huge thing came out of the legs? Yep. It came out as a bunch of smaller bones that knit themselves together. Oh, uh, that's right. It's a baby. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to cast Word of Radiance. Okay. Uh, Which is a constitution save. Great. And, like, I guess... Just for flair, when I cast it, the the radiant energy that like emanates from Alina is not like a bright white light like you would typically see. It's like almost purple in color. Ooh, um, that's still a... very bright. <laughs> that is a thirteen. Okay, so that fails. So that is 11 radiant damage. Okay. Uh, it's barely hanging in there, but it is still standing. It's still oh, standing. I think I actually had to take a step forward because it's... That's fine. Yeah. Each creature within... Yeah, it's five foot range. So I would have stepped up next to you, Artie. Right. Hi. That's um... it. It's now this thing's turn. Uh, it's going to lift up one of its massive skeletal feet and attempt to stomp on Bowman. Uh -oh. Why is everyone all about Bowman? Uh, I don't know, but that's a 25 to hit. Because you have the most hit points. <sighs> that hits. Great. So you're... I, did, I did make myself the target being a tank character, so mm -hmm. that's that's true. So next time you have to make yourself like a piece of crap, a wizard, yeah, a wizard, a wizard. Uh, you... like a like a little dwarf wizard or some something oh, small. You know what? I'll be a, a raccoon gnome wizard. wizard. I'll be a raccoon. You wizard. could be a raccoon wizard. You take thirty-one points of damage. Geisha, God, no. Um, you heal that. I just got that back. Nix, it's now your turn. Um, I am going to bonus action act, like, it hasn't been an hour since we caught the mice, right? It has not. Okay. So I'm going to use my bonus action to start the flamethrower up again. Um, so, deck I'm gonna send it like on the other side of Penny. Like have it go walk off to the other side of Penny. Um and then that way it shouldn't get my friends with the But the the skeleton beast needs to make a dexterity save as well. Um okay, yeah. Uh, that's a nine. Nope. Um, five points of fire damage. And then I'm gonna shoot it. Uh, you don't need to. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, that thing is defeated. Uh, however, we are gonna stay in initiative order. Um, for reasons. Um... Which means, Janara, it would be your turn next. 
for reasons, eh? Um, Denara is going to try to move to the door. Great, yeah. You use your movement to get to the door. Can I... How high up is this house? Um, you would... It's it's it seems to have lowered itself a little bit. You still have to clamber up to the door, but it's easy enough to do. Um, but it will take. So what you've already moved? How so? How much? How how much movement do you have? I have forty five feet of movement. So you can get to the door and you can attempt to open it, but you can't get through the door just because of the extra sort of climbing involved with getting up. Can I just quickly listen before I open the door? Make a perception check. 25. 25. Uh, yeah, with a 25, you sort of listen at the door. Um, you don't really hear anything immediately on the other end, um, other than sort of the creaking of the house as it settles. I'll open the door. Okay. Uh, as soon as you touch the door, you trigger an invisible glyph on the door. I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Yeah. Bye, Mom. <laughs> 13? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. That's a failure. So you're going to take a vacation. Do the bombing vacation. Uh, 38 points of cold damage as a cone of cold is triggered uh, by a magical ward that was placed on the door um, that you didn't check for. Uh... As it triggers, though, the door cl does click open. Okay. Ow. Um, Are you good? Next up in the initiative order is Artemis. Oh my god, Mom. Uh, Janara, you good? <laughs> I'm okay. I probably have still taken less damage than some of you. All right. Well. Uh... I'm. I don't see anything rushing at us at this moment. Nope. I will do my best to also clamber up to the door. Great. Are you gonna go through the door? Yeah. We'll check for traps. I think you can get or just stone. on the other side of the threshold with your movement. Great. I'll just head. I'll get just inside. And I will sneakily just look around, see what I can see. Yeah. You're in some sort of front entry room. There's a bare skin rug on the floor, uh, but it looks like it was not properly tanned. Um, and it smells like it was not properly tanned. Oh. Amateurs. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Um, I will just, I've got some spells for it. I'll say, you know, it's okay. It's, it could have happened to anyone, you know, it could have happened to anyone. Uh, but let me just get you back in shape, you know, heal. And I'll just give you a little, just a little, an extra pep in your step. You can have six points of health back. Thank you. Penny, it's your turn. I'm going to move five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to move right here so that I'm close to the door, but so that because other people I'm sure can get in besides me. Right. So that's my turn. Bowman. Um. The house. Is there any windows on the outside? No windows. No windows. No doors from the outside except for the one. Except for the one. 
Okay. Oh, gonna make a door. They might make a Bowman door. Patent pending. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna take twenty feet of movement and move ripped door. Um, I'm going to sorry, I'm gonna move Janar for a second. Uh how high up and how much I have ten feet of movement left. Can I get you, inside? You can get inside. You have to be next to Artemis on either his right or his left. Okay. I'll be on Artie's right. My right hand man. And I was just gonna say Great. <clears throat> At the end of your turn, two things happen. First, you hear slams and clicks throughout the house. And Artemis and Bowman, like, standing in this room, you see a flash of, like, dark green light around the right-hand door. Um, That's the first thing that happens. Second thing that happens is... Uh, suddenly appearing in mid-air outside of the house is Mother Lorinda herself. Uh, this bitch. This witch. She says, well, 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 I see the village didn't uh, finish you off, but that's okay. Your essences will make for the Finest Lursha I've ever created. <gasps> Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> it is now her turn. Uh, so in the initiative order, she goes after Bowman and before Elena. Um, and she's going to cast a spell. Um, and what I would like from well, let me let me just see what uh, what I can what I can get for this sort of area of effect here. Mm. Oh, oh, beautiful! Oh, I, uh, I need. Uh, I'm gonna need a con save from everybody. What the um, fuck? Janara and what is the radius on that spell? Sixty. Janara and uh, Artie get a plus five. Okay, by being right. near Bowman. That's the wrong guy. What 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 save is this? On save. I think it's illegal to go through doors. Actually, I read that in the manual. Oh. God. Okay. What did people get? 13. 13 is a failure. 12. 12 is a failure. 25. 25 is a success. Is a success. 22. 22 is a success. 28. 28 is a success. 24. 24 is a success. So, uh... Most of you succeed. Uh, the two of you who got under a 17 fail. So if you fail, you take 27 points of necrotic damage. If you succeed, you take 13 points of necrotic damage. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I also have resistance to necrotic damage. So cut that in half again. So six. So Wait, you said 16? 13. 13, sorry. 13. Cut that in half again to six. Um, so, and Lorenda is 20 feet up in the air, um, and, you know, that's going to be her turn. Elena, that's your turn. Okay. Um, this kind of changes my, uh, plans a little bit, but. Um, mm. 
Sorry. Oh. Oh, go ahead. Um. Your delay means we get to figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> That's right. I guess I'm going to cast Moonbeam on her again. Go for it. Yeah, we're going to do Moonbeam. And that's going to be a constitution save. Let's do it. Uh, that's a non-natural 20. That succeeds, but I think she still takes half. Yeah. Uh, so that's eight halved to four. Right. So. Uh, yeah, you summon the moonbeam, uh, you see her skin starts, like, smoking a little bit under the light, but she seems mostly unfazed. She just mm -hmm. says, Oh dear, that's not a very nice way to treat your mother. Janara's my mom. <laughs> um. I'm gonna, like, because I still have movement. I'm going to go back away from Was. her. Okay. Was. <laughs> Great. But I'm going to like back up, but keep looking at her and just kind of give her side eye the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Um, Then that's Nix's turn. You said she's 20 feet up in the air. She sure is. Does she look solid? She does. Okay. She just um, seems to be able to fly. Going to bonus action steady aim. Great. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot her. Go for it. Uh, Non-natural 20. That hits. And I believe... Steady aim gave you advantage, yeah. correct? So you may add your sneak attack. Okay. 32 points of damage. That's a good solid hit against her. Yeah, you Fuck take here. aim carefully, shoot her real hard. Real good. Real hard. Real I, hard. I shoot her real hard, Shoot her guys. real hard. Um... At the end of your turn, she's going to use a legendary action. Um, she looks at you and says, Now, dear, that's not very nice, is it? And her eyes glow uh, bright green, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Uh, another one? Yep. Oh, so much constitution. 16? 16 is a failure. So you are going to take... Uh, 11 poison damage, and you have disadvantage on the next attack roll. Um, Janara. I'm a monk. Can I jump up and punch her? Uh, she is 20 feet in the air. So we, what we need to do is calculate your... How monk is mom? Can you climb up the side of the house and then do a kickoff and then punch? I mean, the tree is right there. Or yeah, can I climb this tree that's right next to her? Well, I have forty-five meter feet of movement. I'm pulling up the jump oh, calculator right now. So okay, okay. See you with the jump calculator. <laughs> okay. I have a backup plan if I can't do this. Great. What's your strength score? Thanks. Score is plus one. Yeah, but what's the actual number? Oh, 12. Okay. Um, 
So your high jump is eight feet. Okay, so not 20 feet. Um, so. But closer. Uh, you could, if you could attempt to do some monk climbing thing and then leap and attack her, um, you could attempt that. That would use much more of your movement, but. And I'm blind using more of my for, movement. At, and, and would probably call for an athletics check. I, I'm okay with that. Okay. Can I try to do that? Okay. Sure. You can use that. You can do that. You can run over the tree, try to climb up it, and then jump off a branch to attack her. All right. So I'll say I'm like here. Great. Um, go ahead and make an athletics check for me. 21. Uh, yeah, you can do it. So you climb up and you jump off uh, fist swinging to go after her. All right. So. First one is a 26 to hit. That hits. That is going to be... That is going to be six damage, and she needs to make a... What is it now? She needs to make a, a saving throw. Constitution. Yep. Okay. 15. Um, that is a failure, but she's going to use one of her legendary resistances. Okay, I'll Not try to do stuff. it again. Great, let's burn them. I yeah, know I'm okay with that. Um, the next one is a twenty-two to hit. That hits. That is going to be seven damage. Okay. And I'm trying to stunning strike her again. Uh, that is going to be a god damn it, fourteen. So that's okay. a failure. She's gonna burn She's her done. second legendary resistance. Okay. Nice. Now I'm gonna try to do it one more time. All right. That is another. That is twenty five to hit. Okay. I'm a bitch. I rolled three <laughs> failures in a row. All three legendary resistances are gone. I hope you're happy. I am. That's eight damage too. Great. Um. So she's not stunned, but she burned three. But she burned her legendary resistance. Huge. Okay. Uh, as you fly through the air, you let off a flurry of blows against her. Um, and then you have like the slow fall feet, right? Yes, I do. So you land harmlessly on the other side of her. So if you want to move your character. Sure. Um, at the end of your turn, she's going to look at you and say, she's going to like drift down a little closer to you and say, no, now, dear, doesn't seem, uh, that doesn't seem like the kind way to treat your elders. Um, and suddenly in a flash, she's enveloped by moth wings. Uh, there's this swirl of wind around her, and she flies away very quickly, um, and you are buffeted by it, uh, and take, uh, six bludgeoning damage as she, uh, gets close to you to do some damage and then flies away without provoking opportunity attacks. Oh, where'd she go? I zoomed in too far. Artemis, that's your turn. Oh my gosh, she's so far away. <sighs> um, okay, okay. Hold on, this changes things. 90 feet of flying. I'm gonna have Cypress zip up to me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount Cypress. Okay. And just boop. Great. Um, can I move us both at once? Yes, I can. And then let's see how far was that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm going to move us like up above these trees, kind okay. of up in the air so I can get a clear shot at her. Um, 
And I'm going to say, now I think we just need to slow things down. And I'm going to cast slow on her. What's the save? It is a, oh, what is the save? <laughs> Wisdom. Okay. 19. That is exactly a 19. Damn. Okay. Well, then I will inspire someone. Um, ooh, a creature. I've just got a hunch. I'm going to pat Cypress and say, you're doing a great job. I'm going to inspire my bird. Can I do that? I think so. I'm just, I'm just got a bad sure. hunch. We'll, we'll go for it. Great. We'll say yes. Um. Cool. Uh, Cypress doing anything else, or is that it? Um, Cypress is keeping me on his back because there's no saddle, and I'm not that talented. Sure. Um. Great. At the end of your turn, she's going to use her last legendary action. She's going to look at you and say, ah, Now, sunny, 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 you didn't have to come here, but now that you are, you are looking a little, a little ill. Um, and her eyes flash green, and I need a constitution saving throw from you. This isn't something I can counter. This is not that. No. no. Just take it. We're awesome. Ooh, we're not that awesome. Thirteen. That's a failure. Uh, you take seventeen poison damage. Delza. Um, Penny. Can I scoot over by these bushes so I can get next to Artie? Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's a little up in the air, but you can be right. But next to his little token. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I'll get there, and then I'm going to shoot another Lorinda. Go for it. All right, we have 25, a 25, and a 15. 25, 25, and 15. The, tw the two 25s hit, the 15 does not. Okay. All right. Ooh. First is 21, and the other is 19. Great. Uh, you shoot her twice. She slams up against the wall of her house as she's flying in midair. Um, she frowns at you and says, This is really, you are a rude bunch of children. I want to tell her I think she looks so cute. Okay. Why, thank you, dear. Um, that's not going to change how this is going to go. That's okay. Um, I get it. Bowman, it's your turn. Uh, gonna be, again, dumb thing. Um, uh, can I take my full movement and walk? I'm gonna move my character, but I'm asking a question, okay? Okay. Can I move here, go through that doorway, trigger whatever it needed to be triggered and smash through the side of the house you can certainly try okay. um, oh my god that I love it. that left hand door is open um so you are able to go through it the right okay. hand door was the one that had the weird flash if i remember what i said to you yes, yes. that's what you said um okay you get to the wall you think you hear lorinda on the other side of it um uh, your first attack at least has to be against the wall. And you okay. can see if you can get through it. So go ahead and make an attack roll for me. Can you do? Oh, so close. It was, it was on the 20, but then it flipped. Uh, that is a 28 to hit the, yeah, the wall. Yeah, you're going to do damage to the wall. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for me. Uh, 
15 damage. Okay, the wall uh, is, you you crack the wall, but the wall is still standing. Plus improved divine. That's an additional eight. So twenty-three altogether. Twenty-three altogether. The wall is still standing. It's badly cracked, but it's still standing. Alright, I'm second attack wailing on it again. Right. Oop. Oh, lost that dice. Uh but it was a uh no, it was a 25. 25. Hit, hit the you wall. smash a hole in the wall. You can see Lorinda right on the other side. But those are your attacks. Okay. Um, I got any good bonus actions I can do. Um, I'm going to bonus action for next turn. Uh, blinding smite. Okay. Do I have to... Wait, question for that. Is my concentration still up? No, you have to drop your concentration to cast a new concentration spell. Uh, oh, well, okay. So Elena would lose the bonus. I'm gonna say that's a, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, so Elena, you no longer have plus two AC. Bowman, you have set up that smite. Okay. Great. I'm going I'm going under the desk. Don't kill me. I have no. to get my dice. <laughs> oh, okay. I understand. Uh well, next is technically a layer action round. Uh so when that happens, there's just a weird like pulse of energy. You're all not sure what just happened necessarily, but there's this weird pulse of energy. It is now Mother Lorinda's turn. Hey, Bowman. Hey. Hey, how many hit points do you have left? Oh my god. 86. Million. Thousand. Bajillion. I'm afraid to tell you that is not enough hit points. <gasps> Lorinda looks at you and says, Why don't you just die? He's inside. <laughs> you feel over dead. He's Good. inside. He punched a hole in the wall. <laughs> Ashley right. cast power word kill and kills Bowman. Better me than you guys. All right. Uh, then she's going to use her movement and she passes through the wall and disappears inside the house. All right. Well, I'm dead. I'm going to use the bathroom. <laughs> yep. But like death saving throw dead, not like. No. Dead, dead. No, oh, dead. Power dead. word kill is if you have 100 hit points or less, you are dead instantly. Uh, can we revivify? You can I... revivify. You can revivify. Can Why are you I contemplating see... this? <laughs> we know the result, though. Never mind. We know the result. Well, if you want to, if you want to counter, if you want to retroactively counter spell, it's a ninth level spell, though. I honestly don't think Artemis would fully recognize it. Fair enough. So, with that, uh, it's Selena's turn. Um, and also, I'm sorry. Where did she go? <laughs> she went, in went through the wall and is somewhere inside the house. Like, she okay. went through, not the wall with the hole in it, she went, like, back through the other wall as if it was not there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, I'm gonna move and cast Circle of Power. Oh my god, okay. I thought that was Lady R or Mother Lorinda. No, no, this is me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to help you guys. I was about to scream. No, no, no. I'm trying to help you guys. Um, so... As long as I can keep concentration on this, uh, every friendly creature uh, has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Uh, additionally, when you succeed a saving throw uh, that would do that allows to make a saving throw to take only half damage, then you would take no damage. If you succeed. 
So, lots of benefits. Benefits. Thank you, Bennies. <laughs> uh, but there's not much else I can do. <laughs> we stay in that circle, is what we do. Uh, do do we we don't even know Bowman's dad I, yet? I think Artemis is the only one who could have seen it. Yep. Um, from the angles where everyone's at, because Artemis is up in the air and saw Bowman punch this hole through the wall, and basically it was this moment of like, ha ha, got you, because when Bowman does his thing, he's basically unstoppable, and then he just watched her literally kill him with a word. Um, Nyx, it's your turn. Um, well, she just disappeared into the house, so I'm gonna run up to the house. Like, we're just gonna... That way. I don't think I can get up there, but... Right. Um... I'm gonna scoop up my flamethrower on the way. Uh, can I, like, chuck it into the house? Sure. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, you throw it in through the door. Flamethrower is in the front room. And it's it's setting things on fire. Yeah, okay, <laughs> great. Um, Janara, it's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna go in the house. Right. Is it? There's a fire! <laughs> there's a fire there's a fire as Janar goes past and climbs up into the house uh, the yeah. there was just like burning one of the walls how far can I get uh, you have, well it's double it'll double movement to climb up through the doorway so that counts as 10 feet of movement to get through the doorway so however much movement you can get I'm gonna I think I can get roughly here. I don't think I can even get all the way to Bowman, which is kind of sad. Um Yeah. You see him on the floor though. And you didn't uh -huh. you couldn't see him before, but you see Bowman on the floor and he's not breathing. Uh-huh. I'm going to, because I can't really do anything for him if he's fully dead dead, and I'm assuming I recognize that he's dead dead and not... Yeah, yeah you do. And not, um... You yeah. see, like, lines of, like, black necrotic energy have sort of eaten up, like, the sides of his face, um, and he's just, he's dead. So I'm going to save my action, which is just going to be to punch the heck out of Mother extra times on my next turn. Okay, great. Artemis, that's your turn. Ooh. Well, all right. Um. I'm gonna have Cypress fly me. Whoopsie. I gotta bring myself with him. I'm gonna have Cypress fly me close. And then can I fit through the hole that Bowman created? Yeah, I, I would say it'll dive through the hole. Cost double movement to do so, but yeah, you can do it. Sure. Um I'll have Cypress as I kind of like vault over Bowman. Cypress help the others. I'll fly back to, I don't know, here-ish. Or he can, he'll go to here and he'll offer like a stepping stone for people Perfect. to get up Perfect. without using a bunch of their movement. Perfect. Um, mm -hmm. And then, can I physic? could I physically see the magical aura that Alina had created? Is that something I can see that Bowman is not currently in? I will leave that to... Alina, does does your spell manifest physically? Like this is this is more of a flavor thing than anything. Would you're muted? Yeah, I'm gonna say yes, but it's not like in 
like extremely obvious. It's not like a hard demarcation of where the spell like is, but the way that it works is that the divine energy is radiating from me and it diffuses magical energy within it. So I kind of think it'd be like, you'd see like wisps just like in the area surrounding me. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to try and drag Well, I'm going to grab the trench coat and I'm going to just drag his body. Yeah, you can move out. at half movement doing so, So, I, but you can, should have enough movement to get him into the... I'm going to try and move. Oh, Bowman, I'm going to move your character. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to drag him down, uh, look over at Janara, say, she did it with just one word. She can't be allowed to speak. I'm going to pull off one of the rings that I have and slam it down onto Bowman's chest. I actually might be able to help with that dice. Um, and you cast Revivify, I assume. Yeah, I'm going to close my eyes. Mr. Bowman, I need you more than you realize. One father figure I couldn't save, but I'll be fucked if I can't save you. And I'm going to um, pump everything I got. Great. As you as you cast this spell, uh, Bowman, your consciousness exploding in a void. Can he hear me? Yes! Okay. Your consciousness <laughs> is, is floating this in is a void. <laughs> You're dead. And I don't know how Bowman feels about being dead. But it's certainly more peaceful than the circumstances you just left. Silver flames suddenly surround you in this void. And you hear a voice say, The Scion still needs you, for some reason. Live again. And you gasp awake on the floor with one hit cut. <laughs> Let's kill that bitch. Oh my god, I'm a killing headache. Hi. Lay down um, you. Just, I'll take care of you. That's not your job. Uh, Bowman staggers up. Oh, this hurts. Everything hurts. <sighs> Are you Can that bonus you... action inspire him? I owe you some. I owe you something. <laughs> much more than I can give you right now, but... I'll we'll just give him a little wink. And and feel inspired. <laughs> oh. And I think there is a good time to leave off for the night. We'll pick back up with the assault on Mother Lorinda's house. Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. And... We'll see you next time. Have a good night, everyone.